we have this new guy at work and we've been working together for a couple of weeks now and somehow the conversation that I make YouTube videos got brought up and usually when people will say yeah I used to watch YouTube videos or I watch YouTube a lot uh, I start naming names like Timothy De La Ghetto, D Pride, a little crazed wax people like that and I'm like yeah I used to work with that person I've worked with that person and they're always like oh wow you're famous man wow it's low-key a little bittersweet because I have to name these other people's names to kind of validate myself. A lot of you guys on this channel don't even know, I've been making videos for almost 10 years now. Back in the day, YouTube was a completely different place. It was a lot more user-based. It was, you know, it didn't have all these crazy corporations and companies with these, you know, crazy videos. It was a lot more focused on people. And in that era, you know, I did pretty well. This channel here was actually a secondary channel that I had made that was specifically going to be made for just my vlogging and talking to the camera type stuff. But really, it got me thinking about, you know, what I used to do, how I got into it all, and in a sense, how I lost it all and how I'm trying to get it all back and more at this point. Um, back in the day, one of the first people that I had ever seen on YouTube was Timothy Delegato. He was one of the most personable YouTubers that were out watching his videos and a lot of shit that he did is really what inspired me to actually make videos I think that the first YouTube video we ever made was a response to his video I don't remember exactly what we were doing. I think we were just being stupid and like sarcastic and He commented back and was like ah y'all are dumb or something like that And that was like the biggest fucking deal to us, you know from that point on, you know I, I was hooked and I've been hooked ever since it took a long time for us to really kind of start doing well. The first videos that we made were all comedic, funny skits, and that's really what YouTube was for us. We had a channel called The Twisted Pictures, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know. And after a few years, that channel started to really kind of take off. It started doing very, very well. We did a lot of crazy, funny shit. We had a lot of good times. We had a lot of energy, and it wasn't so wrapped up in the business aspect of it. It wasn't like we were forcing ourselves to make videos. It was like we just made YouTube videos for fun. And we never sat there and thought like, okay, we gotta make a video, what's the idea? It's like they were, they would just happen. And you know, everything from the Lucha Libre wrestler videos to the one nut grapefruit and pet McGroin videos to the Sam's and all this other shit was, made up on the spot. It was, I think we only did maybe one or two videos that were actually scripted. That channel really started doing well and I didn't even really know how to pay attention to that. I don't remember how involved the analytics were and how the how you could see your views and I didn't really realize what we had. We had the possibility to make that a career. We had it in our fucking hand and we just didn't know what we had. After, you know, years of making videos, and, you know, we eventually did a video with Super Ego and we did the Cholo Adventures videos. And, you know, that was huge for our channel. And even in those videos, like we were already kind of going away from it all. I think we were just too caught up in partying and not paying attention to the fact that we had this possibly multi million dollar business almost in my eyes at our fingertips. And we just did not grab it. You know, there were times where I would you know, go and, 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 and talk to Tim and we're like, we met up like multiple times. Like Tim is base is my boy, but because I was so wrapped up in things, I never really realized like, you know, like those are the type of people I need to be around. And the fact that I was just a young kid from the desert who, you know, didn't, you know, have no idea of what was happening, you know, really kind of is regrettable. There was a time when I went up to go meet Tim. We went to go meet to go just basically kick it and freestyle and I think we gave him a CD because we had a CD coming out and I was like very fucking nervous and very fucking stoned to meet to talk to him. And it's funny because I had already met Tim like multiple times and when I seen him I was like, "Hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you." He was the most awkward lame shit I could ever say. I don't know if you remember this Tim, but I said, nice to meet you. And you're like, you already met me, doc. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, we made the stupid little freestyle video and, and we took off and I, I, I kind of didn't want to be in your like way. Like I felt like you were going to, you were busy and like, I was just kind of bothering you. So that's why we took off right away and we didn't kick it. And I was just a dumb high kid who didn't know how to act basically. 
there were multiple times that that shit like that happened. And, you know, I allowed my fear inside of me to control who I talked to or what I did, you know, things like that. I remember Peter hitting me up because he wanted me to be in the fucking high school musical shit. And um, I think I just straight turned him down or said that, that I couldn't because I had to, couldn't, didn't have a ride or some shit like and, you know, it wasn't just, you know, situations like that. It was like other situations where I just didn't have the confidence to move forward. It's like I lacked the confidence to go to, to be the person I should have been. Things started, you know, dwindling off and Corey wasn't around as much and Danny wasn't around as much. And, you know, we all moved to different parts of California and in or, or Las Vegas, even with Danny. And it was like, we just slowed down. We just completely stopped. You know, it eventually got to a point where we were forcing videos. And every time like a video, we would make a video. There was a video even that you can see here. It's called trying to make a video. And we just literally had a camera there, a good quality camera, all four of us there, all trying to come up with an idea. And it just wouldn't fucking happen. And after a while, you, you just start to realize you can't force these things. And you just... You just give up trying. And, you know, that was my, our fault for not evolving, for not, you know, taking it seriously. And, and you know, it, it was a, it's, it, it's a, I don't know exactly how they feel about it, but for me, it's one of the biggest regrets, you know, that I've ever had in my life because, uh, like, we could be feeding our families very nicely and, you know, doing what we love and what I love to do at least. And, you know, as it, it has a full time career and a very good full time career because there's, you know, my I, all my the people that I mentioned are doing it. I take nothing but responsibility for it. One hundred percent, because from the beginning, the YouTube channels were all mine. You know, it was completely my responsibility to edit, upload and market and everything, which was maybe a big reason of the downfall of it all. So um, I don't know. It's just it's a trip. And I don't think I've ever really got into deep into it. But, you know, there was a lot of potential in our Twisted Pictures channel, in the Audible 4 at 4 channel. I mean, I made the fucking YouTube cipher. That shit got as far as fucking Jin and Andy Milanakis. And, and I look back at that video, and it was like the fucking worst verse I have ever rapped, ever. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I mean, I just couldn't really rap that well back then. I was a good idea is what I was. I, I, I couldn't really rap. I swear like I could and, and, and maybe that's what I needed, but it took me a long time to learn how to legitimately make a hip hop song. The YouTube cipher was such a fucking great idea, but it was literally the worst verse that I think I've ever probably put out there. It's fucking sucks because the verse that was heard the most from me in the world is probably one of the worst that I've ever made. It, it was like a very bad impression of Audible 484. And it took me, you know, a long time to really move past that and to really just, you know, accept the fact that it was trash <laughs> and it got so big. And I wanted to tell the story because it's really been on my mind. And, you know, with this, I, I'm, I'm calling it a comeback now because I'm like, fuck this. At this point now, I'm I literally at a point where I'm like, fuck this. I'm done saying what's going to happen. I'm done thinking what's going to happen and it's going to fucking happen. Like at this point, I'm like pushing forward and doing my best to allow myself to be the person that I need to be. But yeah, that's how I almost got YouTube famous. <laughs> wow. That got me a little riled up there. <laughs> Appreciate every single one of you guys from the people who've been watching since the twisted pictures because I know there's a lot of you and even the people who are newly subscribed you know there's a lot of new people here and I and I and I regret that I haven't shouted you guys out yet but I know there's a lot of new subscribers a lot of new people here and there will continue to be so I just want to say what's up I appreciate you guys thank you so much for subscribing I've been doing this a long time if you guys want to check out the old videos and the old channel um, I'll leave links in the description and then I'll put some stuff in the end screen. Please click the like button, thumbs this video up. And also, if you are new here and you haven't watched any of my videos, I make videos every Wednesday. Uh, please click the subscribe button. I think you will enjoy it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Smoke something, drink something. Peace out.